The Campbell story started back in the 1860s, um, uh, and it was started by our great grandfather Suze, who uh, came from St Andrews in Scotland, and he followed the, like a lot of Anglo-Saxons did, came out to Australia following the dream for gold, and the gold rush brought him to Rutherglen. And when the gold site ran out, um, the government gave all the miners um, a selection of land and John Campbell selected this block here where we are now and he named it Bobby Burns after Bobby Bur the Bobby Burns gold lead which was the actual gold lead that he, he worked on. Then it became the name of the vineyard where we grow the Bobby Burns grapes and now we've released it uh, and that's our flagship wine that we call Bobby Burns Shiraz. Mm. I guess to it, it's home to us and uh yeah, if we, if we were running around the tanks as kids or um, checking Beaumais on wines or working at busy Celador events, that was, that was what, we, what we did and what we loved. Mm. I guess wine sort of um, is, is part of every sort of part of our life, not just our working hours, but relaxation, going out for dinner, going to events, traveling. Yeah, and, and we have to always be conscious of um, of everything that we do because at the end of the day it's our family name that goes on the label and it's people that are drinking our wines. Rutherglen Musket is a very important um, wine to the Australian wine industry. In fact we're very happy to be able to say that it's probably one of the most highly regarded products that come out of Australia. Uh, internationally acclaimed by just about every um, critic uh, and it has a very very high place in the international wine profile. The things that make Rutherglen special are our climate. Uh, Rutherglen has a, normally a very dry ripening period which allows us to leave the grapes on the vine, let them shrivel so that the bunches uh, by the time they're picking might have say 40-50% of raisins on them and that allows us then to make a very sweet, very luscious wine. When we picked our muskets we um, put them all aside in barrels, let them settle and then eventually we bring them into our salira and our, all of our muskets are made through a salira process which means having a, a base stock of wine which we take the finished product from and then topping that up with younger wine um, to keep the freshness in the wine and also to keep our stocks moving through. What's it really like working with your dad, working in a father and daughter team? You know, you are the future, so who's in charge? It, it's it's hard work, <laughs> but I think that's um that's part of the the enjoyment of we, the industry. We have a lot of arguments. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. I remember I, when I first came back to the family business, I had a lot of ideas, and perhaps some weren't really um, warranted. And uh, Dad had often just listen to them and then tell me to go away and think about the ideas and come back and <laughs> reframe them. But I guess with experience and working alongside Dad for the last five or six years, um, I've I've developed sort of an understanding more so about the direction of the business and, um, and I, I, I've inherited the role of brand custodian. Um, I am looking forward to Dad stepping back a little. I don't think he'll ever, I don't think he'll ever retire out of the business, Dad. Probably, but probably <laughs> not, no. Um, <laughs> what would I do? But yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dad has been known to say that. But um, yeah, I guess we're, we, we all love a challenge and uh, wine is in our blood and uh, we've sort of grown up with it. That's, it's all we know and we live it and breathe it and love it.